Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. Now, if your iPad won't charge or is not charging, you want to follow these tips to hopefully fix your iPad getting charged. So let's get started. So whenever you're having issues with charging of your iPad, first thing to troubleshoot is your charger cable that you're using. Most of the time you have two parts. You have this brick or the wall adapter along with the cable itself. Now these things can get defective really quick so you want to change it out either the block or the cable or if you have a whole new cable that you can try it out go ahead and try that out you'll find that most of the time these things are defective now the next thing to consider is cleaning out your charge port right here now the charge port can collect a lot of dust lint over time just from usage and sometimes it can block the connector here so if you can have a something light just to pick in there to make sure there isn't any dust or lint that you can clean out you'll see improvement and if there is an issue most of the time that will fix it for you now other things to consider when it comes to charging an ipad that you may not have considered is the temperature now if you're in extreme weather like extreme cold temperature or really hot temperature you might want to get to a place where it's cooler and uh like in terms of ideal temperature for the ipad to touch because if it's too cold or too hot sometimes the iPad won't charge just to prevent any internal damage as well. Now, other things to do if you're still having issues is going to do a force restart on your iPad. So with the iPad with all screen just like that, you're going to quickly press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold this side button just like that. I am here again. It's volume up, press and release quickly, and then volume down, press and release quickly, and then hold that touch ID or the power button until the screen goes completely black like it did right here from my iPad and wait for the Apple logo to appear and then you'll let go of that touch ID or the power button until you see that Apple logo appear again you might have to do this a few times so if you don't get it the very first time keep on trying it volume up volume down quickly and then hold that touch ID or the power button now if you have an iPad with the home button it's going to be slightly different you're just going to hold the home button and then lock or the power button at the same time until the screen goes completely black once you see the apple logo appear you'll let go of those two buttons and this is known as a force restart which basically shuts down the phone software and reloads the code and resolves a lot of software related issue and this method is safe you will not uh, delete any of your personal data like photos videos apps all will still be on your iphone you don't have to worry about it lastly another thing you can try if you're lucky enough if you're iPad has at least 50% or more charges. Try to see if you can do a software update by going to your setting of your iPad and then go to general and then software update. And if there's a software update, you can try to go ahead and update your iPad. And the reason why you want to do a software update is because maybe a previous version has caused some bugs or glitch that might be preventing the iPad from charging. So go ahead and see if you can update it. And that's it for troubleshooting. Hopefully now your iPad is working and charging. And if this video was helpful, please do consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.